Good morning. Good morning. We begin our prayers in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Yes, My dear friends, as we continue to celebrate the birth of Christ in our midst, we come to celebrate life itself, the gift that the Savior has given us, the life that the Lord, our God, has shared with us from the beginning of times and so for the many times that we didn't respect life we come before the Lord and pray you were sent to heal the contrite of heart Lord have mercy Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy you gave to all sinners Christ have mercy Christ have mercy you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty God have mercy, and thus forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, with the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. The gates of heaven grant, O Lord, we pray, that we may imitate what we worship, and so learn to love even our enemies. For we celebrate the heavenly birthday of a man who knew how to pray even for his persecutors. 
Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the Acts of the Apostles, Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called Synagogue of Freedmen, Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and people from Cilicia and Asia came forward and debated with Stephen, but they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But he, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven, and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens opened, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he carried out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. The word of the Lord. Amen. Our responsorial song, Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. In your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord. O faithful God, I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has given us light. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Bless you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of, of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues. And you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say, for it will be not be your you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking to you. Rather, will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Today we are celebrating the feast of Saint Stephen, the first martyr in our Catholic calendar. What is beautiful about today's celebration is that we come to celebrate life itself. Continue the celebration of yesterday, Christmas Day, to today. How do we celebrate life itself, the gift of Jesus to all of us? And St. Stephen, in today's feast day, celebrates life by giving his own life for Jesus. Now you probably will say, how do you celebrate life when somebody is being killed? How is that as a celebration? Sometimes have a lot of priorities in our lives. Sometimes have valued things in our life. They come first in our list. Some their properties, some their loved ones, some their treasures. For Stephen, number one in his list is his faith. Now if you have something that you treasure and you value very much, you are willing to give your life for that. Stephen today says, my faith comes first. If it calls that I needed to give my life for my faith, I will. In the story of our church, you have studied calendar schedules of the martyrs of our church. Paul was quite upside down. All the different martyrs of the different churches of the different countries in the world, they all celebrated the life given to them by God through the sacrifice of giving their life. And as we come to think about it, that is what we continue to practice in the celebration of Christmas, give giving, give giving. You probably are wondering, oh, they didn't value me that much, they didn't give me a lot of gifts this past Christmas, uh, I'm, I feel down, I'm not important. Give, giving is the next thing that comes after Christmas Day because you have the first giver, Jesus, who gave his life for us. We are first gifted by the Son of God today. Now, whatever your gifts were during this Christmas time, I want you to think about it and say, what was Jesus' gift to me this Christmas time? And I probably have a lot of unwrapped gifts in my room. But what is that that Jesus has given me this year? If you can start doing that, then you can go back to the past years and probably look forward for the coming years to come. Then we begin to value more who Jesus is for us. I am a rich person because Jesus gave me gifts beyond value. What is that gift that you will see? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us all stand and offer our prayers. Gracious and loving God, you have called us today to come and celebrate the life given to us. May this life be a treasure for us and continue to be shared to people who need in our community. We pray to the Lord. Lord we and we pray. For all those who continue to be sad during this season, 
of giving and life, that they may be given the joy and the treasure of knowing that God loves them first. We pray to the Lord. Lord and we pray that as a community of faith, we continue to celebrate each day the many blessings of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord this Mass is being offered for Don, our Deacon Don Wailing, Azucena Martinez Dadiles. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our God our Father, you have come and walked with us in our daily lives. Thank you for your presence and for the joy of knowing that you have loved us first. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear friends, and may sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May these offerings of our devotion today be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord, for they are prompted by the glorious commemoration of Saint Stephen the Martyr, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up to him in love of things invisible. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glorious without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. May you holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was under, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have preached throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth and as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace and the love of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Let us offer each other this sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the Holy who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of 
Let us pray. For the many, many mercies which surround us, we give thanks to you all, who save us through the dignity of your Son and gladden us with the celebration of the blessed martyr Stephen. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. 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 Almighty God bless us all. The Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go and share the blessings you have received. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.